So uh, my name is Adam Morris. I'm the uh, SEO team leader here at Matter Solutions. I'm going to do a bit of a training session on Ahrefs, pretty much what it's about, what sort of things you can run through, what you can find about your website. Um, this tool is uh, ahrefs.com. It's pretty expensive, but if you're an agency or you know you're working in-house in a a company, then I highly recommend getting this. It's going to help you a lot in your SEO efforts. Uh, I'm going to just jump right into it and we'll go through some stuff that we can do. All right, so if I jump on Google, I can have a look at just any random niche. I'm going to pick plumbing in Brisbane. So we're located in Brisbane. So if we just pick the number one here, Fallon Solutions. So if I grab this guy's URL and I'll bring him over to Ahrefs and throw him in here. So very quickly you get a snapshot of this website, how powerful it is, uh, what sort of is powering the back end here. So we can see that you know it has 265 live referring domains. In total it has 322. I generally always focus on the live ones. Almost 9,000 backlinks. So it's being linked to quite a few times from these, these domains here. So one of the coolest things here is you can see the referring domains over time, right? So you can bring this down the uh, last 30 days and have a look at the volatility. Uh, you can have a look at the last year. So you can see that they've really done some, some stuff here, whether it be uh, an SEO campaign or whether they're doing other avenues to get people to link to their website. Um, but you can generally see that they probably started around, uh, you know, 2014 and they sort of slow burned it, maybe did some SEO here. And then slowly, it does look like they've, they've been doing SEO for, for quite a few years now. So some other things you can do in Ahrefs, um, you can actually jump into your referring domains here. So using the same example as before, if we jump in the back here, click on referring domains, it gives you a list of all of the referring domains. We'll switch this one to live, just so we're having a look at the most recent referring domains. So these are all the ones that are currently live. And then you can have a look at all these domains that are linking to us. You know, the list goes on, it's got pages and pages. This website has a fair few referring domains and it gives you some metrics, right? So it's got your DR, which is your domain rating. So that's a number that Ahrefs gives a domain dependent on how powerful it is. You know, it's similar to DA from Moz, if you know about that. Uh, the Ahrefs rank, so this is literally just a one, two, whatever rank of how this website is in the world. So obviously Google, number five in the world. It's got your backlinks, so how many times they're actually linking to you. So localsearch.com.au links to us 242 times, but they're all uh, no follows. So here you can see whether they're no follows or do follows. So in this case, you know, Career Mail has 61 links to us, four of which are a do follow. Uh, if you know much about do follows and no follows, pretty much do follows is saying, hey, yeah, I recommend this website, or no follow is, yeah, I'm not too sure about this website, but I want to link out to it. In most cases, you want to have do follows from, for SEO, but you, you generally want a good mix. So then it also has a date of when it was first seen. Yeah, so another thing is you can jump into the referring domains and actually see how they're linking to you. So if we jump to a page here, jump to page three, for example, dreammoz.com.au, they're linking to this website once. Um, if we actually go to the link here, it'll show the page that it's being linked to on. It'll show that it's being linked with the anchor fallonservices.com, so the URL, and it's linking to this URL, which is redirecting here. Um, so if we can find that one here, we'll just do a search. Oh, well, it's here. So yeah, you find that link. Awesome. So you can see quickly see you know so who's linking to you how they're linking to you and you can sort of weed out some dodgy links sort of audit your your backlinks like that that's all for this part of the hrefs walkthrough thanks for watching don't forget to check back soon for the next part